What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, checking out the brand new Sioux Ship archetype that just got revealed coming out of Dawn of Majesty. You know, I have seen some weird archetypes in my time, guys, but this one might take the cake. I mean, I'm still not exactly sure what to make of this, but this is easily one of the most bizarre archetypes we've ever gotten in this game's history. I mean, these are literally giant ships made out of sushi. I, I don't even I, I don't even know where to start, but uh, we're going to talk about them. It actually reminds me of those really weird potato chip cards they got in the OCG, the ones that you had to buy bags of potato chips to get. I don't know what Konami R&D has been on lately, but uh, yeah, now we got sushi ships um, as an archetype. Anyways, let's go ahead and break them down. The first monster is Rice Sioux Ship, and just like the Magic Key archetype that we talked about yesterday, this is a vanilla monster. I, I, I think something is going on here, guys, where you look at these two archetypes from this same core booster set, and both of them have just a vanilla monster as kind of like one of the main kind of uh, themes or I guess one of like the main monsters in the archetype so I don't know it's kind of bizarre but yeah your first monster is actually going to be a vanilla this is right sous ship it is a fire aqua monster 2000 attack and uh, zero defense it's also level four it's kind of a shame in my opinion that it's not a, a water monster because then you'd be able to go for like bahamut shark toad and that would be you know just kind of like nice i think pretty much any any level four deck wants to have water monsters just because toad is such a powerful card but i digress i'm i'm guessing maybe it's fire because the sushi is spicy you know they're aqua so i would just kind of assume it's water but whatever i'm not gonna read the flavor text you guys can read that at at your leisure it's got a bunch of puns in it and it's like i don't know you just take it in for what it is Next card is going to be the Partner in Crime, and this is Rosu Ship. So Rosu Ship is a fire aqua monster. It's level four, 200 attack, 300 defense. You're not really going to be doing any damage with this card, but it's fine. It works in conjunction with Rice um, perfectly, you know, so basically use them together. Your first and second are both hard once per turns. First effect says if you control Rice Su Ship, you can special summon this card from your hand. Rice Su Ship is the vanilla we just talked about. Second effect, um, during your main phase, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, you can either um, add to your hand or special summon a rice sous ship that was excavated amongst those cards and then you put the rest of them on the uh you put the rest of them back in your deck and then you go ahead and shuffle so this is um an interesting card and obviously i like the first effect i really like these archetypes that say you know or archetypes that have hey when you control this monster just special summon this guy because obviously it means that any combination of the two cards is just kind of like a little bit of a combo and it makes it fairly easy to like get into your play but the second effect i thought was kind of weird i was like well why is this excavating i don't know it's only one monster what if i miss on my excavation i'm not really getting that far i mean i see how obviously it's upside but the field spell actually makes it so that you can stack your deck very similar to like Adam Emancipator so the second effect is actually very good because it turns this card into basically like a one card uh, rank 4xc or maybe if you want to go spicy go for like some link summons or something like that but it makes it very easy to get the second effect uh, online now because we got two level fours it does make a lot of sense for us to have a rank four XC monster and our rank four is actually the dreadnought sous ship <laughs> I, I just realized that this is a dreadnought card <laughs> I wonder if this is, is this actually like somehow canon to the Annika Boom cards? Because, you know, they have a, a there's what, a rank four dreadnought boat and that card lets you go into like the rank 10 train. So maybe this card is like somehow part of that archetype. Anyways, it is a fire aqua XE monster, rank four, 2200 attack, 300 defense. It's completely generic. So that's kind of cool, but you're probably only going to summon it in this deck because of the effects. It says if this card is XE summoned, you can apply these effects based on what monsters were used as material. So if you use Rice Sioux Ship, again, that's the vanilla, you get to draw a card. If you use Rose Sioux Ship, which is the effect monster, then this card can make a second attack during each battle phase. Your second effect says once per turn, when a Sioux Ship monster special summon from the extra deck inflicts battle damage to your opponent, uh, currently, this is the only one. You can target one card they control and destroy it. So the ceiling of this card is actually pretty high. Like, I mean, it's not like a card that blows you away. It's not like Zeus or anything like that. But, I mean, basically, if you exceed summon, 
you get to draw a card, you get to make two attacks, that they don't have to be on monsters, and then maybe you get to, if you do any battle damage, basically you get to just get rid of one of your opponent's cards on field for free, so that's also pretty good. By the way, that second effect is not a hard once per turn, but uh, actually, yeah, it's kind of relevant, because getting two attacks means if you do, if you do battle damage twice, you can essentially get two cards off of your opponent's field, so I mean, this card can kind of be what? Maybe like a plus two, plus three, or something like that. You draw two, you draw one card, take two cards off of your opponent's field, do a bunch of battle damage. Maybe in main phase two, you stack a Zeus on top of this sucker. Like, that'd be kind of cool. So, next up is the field spell, and this really ties the entire archetype together. I think that it probably wouldn't work very well without it, but you got two very good effects here, and um, this is Sue Ship Gallery Kaizen. The effect of this, well, you got multiple effects. The first one says once per turn, if you normal or special summon a sous ship monster or monsters even during the damage step man you like never see that on Yu-Gi-Oh cards seriously never see that on Yu-Gi-Oh cards you can place one sous ship card from your deck to the top of your deck second effect once per turn if your sous ship monster or monsters special summon from the extra deck is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card keep in mind that almost always means battle so if your opponent uses an effect or they run it over uh, your opponent must pay life points equal to its defense. You can special summon one rice sous ship from your hand. And if you do immediately after this effect resolves, exceed summon one sous ship exceed monster um, using that monster as material. Well, only that monster as material. So this is a really interesting card with some very powerful effects. Obviously, the first effect of it is key because it makes the rose sous ship and the whole excavation kind of gimmick it makes it work because let's be real if you were just excavating three cards off the top of your deck and you needed to hit one specific monster out of your entire deck that would not be very consistent however if you're going to stack your deck then obviously it's going to work so you can just normal summon your row then use the field spell stack rice on top of your deck and then boom activate the effect you have your two level fours obviously you get the special summon um your rice with the excavation effect so instantly it turns you know the rank four playmaking uh, online for this archetype the second effect is really interesting because it basically has kind of a cost to activate it but your opponent has to pay it and that can actually kill them <laughs> now it's not going to be a lot because the only xc monster really the only extra deck monster this archetype has is uh, 300 defense. So your opponent's really only paying 300 defense. But, you know, keep in mind, they could there could be some more sous ship cards down the line. There could be another XC or like a link monster or something like that. But yeah, basically, if your opponent kills your sous ship XC monster, you get to essentially special summon the vanilla rice from your hand. And then you get the XC summon it during your opponent's turn. And obviously, you get to draw a card because, you know, you're going to go into another of the, the rice boat and you're going to be able to summon it. You using rice so basically you get to draw a card if nothing else so that's definitely kind of cool um the trap card is the only card that i don't really like it, it's okay i guess you know maybe in an archetype that doesn't have like crazy high power maybe they should have made it a quick play spell this is sushi ship roll specials so obviously like sushi rolls kind of like a little bit of a pun there normal trap card it says you can activate this card or when you activate this card you can reveal one rice sushi ship from your hand reveal three sushi ship monsters from your deck your opponent picks one of them to add to your hand also shuffle the rest back into your deck now if you reveal that rice sushi ship then you get to pick the card instead of your opponent choosing the card second effect says if this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there you can banish this card target three sushi ship monsters in your grave um shuffle them back into the deck and then you draw one card that's actually really good because, I mean, basically, we just talked about it. If you open with the field spell in row, well, then basically you have a one card XC. And that, you know, when that card dies, basically that's three sous ships right there that will be in your graveyard. So it instantly kind of turns this online. The first effect, I, I wish it was. I wish it was a defensive effect. If I'm being honest here, I wish it was something that like popped the card on your opponent's side of the field or maybe like, um, you know, uh, blew up monsters. Well, that's the same thing, I guess. But I think this archetype needed a defensive card. I mean, it can exceed summon during the opponent's turn and that's cool, but there really isn't any way of stopping your opponent or slowing them down 
when it comes to these cards. Anyways, I think this archetype is really neat. Like, some of these plays seem pretty legitimate. And, I mean, honestly, honestly, like, with Zeus being a card, like, basically any XC deck is going to be kind of decent just because you can, like, go into Zeus. So, you know, Zeus will definitely be a card that this archetype wants to play. Anyways, whatever you guys think of um, Sushi ships, aka giant boats made out of sushi, you leave that in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching as always.